Take a look at Purdue football. The Boilermakers with another tough loss at ross -Aid Stadium. Wisconsin had all the momentum early. They scored touchdowns on their first three drives of the game. The first two were from quarterback Tanner Mordecai, and the third was a 14-yard run by Braylon Allen. Allen finished the night with 116 rushing yards. Purdue's defense simply couldn't stop the Badgers. Wisconsin was 8 of 9 on third downs in the first half, compared to Purdue's 2 of 7. Purdue had the chance to get into the end zone as time winded down in the second quarter, but the Boilers' 11-play, 61-yard drive ended with an interception. Wisconsin led 21-3 at the half. Second half, Purdue was able to get some stops. Wisconsin was forced to kick a field goal on three straight drives to start the third quarter. And Purdue finally figuring things out offensively. Tyrone Tracy runs 19 yards for the Boilers' first touchdown. On the next drive, Hudson Card punches one in from six yards out. And Purdue trails 27 to 17 heading into the fourth quarter. But then fourth quarter, turnovers kill Purdue. Card's pass intended for Deion Burks is intercepted. But then Purdue's defense makes up for it. Botros Alessandro rips the ball out of the Badgers' hands and Purdue gets it back. But the Boilermakers will turn the ball over on downs. And then later, Hudson Card is sacked and fumbles the ball. Devin Mockaby recovers it, thinking the play is over, but it's not. The Badgers take it away from him and get the ball back. And just like that, for the 17th time in a row, Wisconsin defeats Purdue. Final score, 38-17. The Boilermakers fall to 1-3 on the season. I did think we were too passive um, from a mentality standpoint, on, you know, coaches and players alike. Um, and that's, that's an area that, you know, we got to get fixed. We're this, you know, I want this to be an aggressive team. Um, and, and we did not play aggressive in, in the first two quarters. It's, it's, you know, us, you know, it's nothing really that they do. We keep shooting ourselves in the foot. And, um, you know, I think when we can put it, when, once we put it, you know, all together for four quarters, um, we're going to be, you know, tough to beat. Purdue is back home on Saturday at 3.30 facing Illinois.